Hi guys, this is Smart Physics Problem for um, EM, Electromagnetic Waves. Okay, um, they gave us the lambda of the of this wave, they gave us the average intensity, and they want to know the magnetic field at 1.5 nanosecond. They want to know the magnitude of the magnetic field. Okay, so let's start this problem. So in order to find um, the at specific specific time the magnetic field, let's find the B max. Then. Okay, so they give us the I here, and the I is equal to U C, and how I remember it is just if on I C U, let me draw it like I equal C U I C U and the u is um, is equal to half epsilon naught e squared okay so this is the i so we need to find the electric field so the electric field will be equal to um, so 2i then divided by uh, let's see the c is the um, speed of light and take the square root of that so this way you'll get the e max e dot okay all right and we can relate this to the b is that um, b naught is equal to e max over c okay um this way you'll get the magnetic field maximum Okay, so they want us to find at time equal 1.5 nanosecond. All right, so let, let's look at this wave. This is C. Let's change some colors. Okay, so they told us that the um, the 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 magnitude of the electric field is maximum at equal zero and it's um, along the y-axis, positive y-axis. So let's say that this is y, this is x, this is z, okay? Alright, so it started from the y-positive and it went down, okay? So it's kind of like this, it's going to keep going like this. So, and they told us that it's going in the um, x positive, the um, the wave, the electromagnetic wave. So the um, direction of it is e cross b. Okay. So and since the magnetic field and the elect um, electric field is in phase, so both of them will be max at time equal zero. Okay. So let's do it with a pencil. So to do E cross B, so this one is E. So let's draw that. This is going to be the Y Z plane, okay? And this will be the electric field vector. And this will be the X here. Direction of X. All right, so the wave is going this way, okay? So in order for this to go in this way, that means the E cross B, the B then should be here. So it's E cross with B, and then your thumb will be pointing at the um, direction of the cross product. Okay. So this way I knew that um, the um, the B is on the Z axis. Okay. So since it's here, then the um, the magnetic field starts from here. Okay, and it's at maximum because they are both in phase. So I hope I don't screw this. But the if you look at it from up on like the um, x z plane, so this is the x, this is the z positive, this is x positive. The it's gonna start from here. Oh, you can see that. Okay, so it's gonna start from here, and it's gonna go up and down. Okay. And 
yeah, it's gonna look something like this, okay? Okay, so we, we know now the direction of both of them, and we want the magnetic field at time equal 1.5. And there's like kind of a long way to do this, but I'm getting a positive answer and I need to check it, and I'll get back to you, but I'll show you at the end. But I found that if let's find x, and x is when you do the so b equal um, b not this is b z okay so b not equal um, cosine of k x minus omega t okay so why did I choose cosine because we need it at time equal zero to be maximum and at time equal zero the the wave is starting at the origin which means that the x is equal to zero to right so this whole thing will go to zero and the cosine of zero is one so that that makes this correct the equation correct okay but when I'm doing this like substitute the k is equal to two pi over l and the x is equal to um, x is the distance so it's c times t right and the omega is 2 pi frequency which is equal to 2 pi and the frequency is 1 over time and time is equal to um, lambda which is the distance over this uh, oh, I hope you can see that lambda is the distance um, the time is lambda divided by the speed okay but frequency is 1 over t so it's C over lambda okay and we have the time so whenever I plug in all these numbers in here I'm getting a positive answer so I'm not truly really sure why but the other solution that I got which I think it's easier and simple is I just found X and X was um, this one here which is C times T okay and C is um, 3 times 10 to the 8th time my time was 1.5 so it's 1.5 times 1.5 um, times 10 to the negative 9 then I got for this 0.45 meter okay and if you look at this the um, the lambda is 0.3 right very cool so the lambda is from here to here this is the lambda right this is 0.3 Okay, so what if I moved um, half of this distance, like from here to here? Look what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the maximum, right? I'm getting the maximum, but it's gonna be a negative, right? So if, if we add um, 0.15 here, you get also the maximum here, right? And this is the time we're looking for. This is at time equal um, 1.5 nanosecond. Okay? So your answer will be the maximum value, but in negative. So be not in negative. Okay? And my answer was for this guy was minus 61.36 times 10 to the negative 8. Cool? Alright, I hope this helped. Um, good luck, guys.